Before we tackle the tough coast here in Narragansett, I've got another tough test ahead of me, trying to catch my first ever striped bass saltwater fly fishing. And with the help of Charter Captain Bob Hines, mission accomplished. All right, Don, I know okay. you're a great, a great spin fisher. I don't know about great, but... <laughs> but we want to get you a fly rod in okay. here, because once you get started on this, you're not going to do anything else, trust me. I get promise. rid of the spin rods, right? <laughs> right. No, keep them just in case. Okay. But what you want to do is just work out about 25 or 30 feet of line. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you start your cast with the tip of the rod down, and you're going to bring it up abruptly, a nice, steady, abrupt back cast. And you're going to stop the rod, let the line straighten out, be totally behind you, and then come forward. Okay. Now, the best analogy I can give you on the forward cast is if I had a fork and I had a potato on the fork, Yep. And I wanted to flip that potato off the fork. Thumb right up on the top, nice yep. loose grip. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come back. Let's get the line out here. Okay, now okay. watch this. You're going to come back and forward. It's all timing. Yeah. Let it hesitate. See that? Ready? Yeah. You're on your own, dude. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. It's He's letting me go. Oh, no. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. It's different without you. I miss you. I've been told that by a lot of different people. <laughs> All right, my chance to practice my first cast. That's the cast, right All there. All right. Now you got it. Now all I need is fish around. And after the cast, you need to retrieve. Watch what I do with my left hand. I just go like this. Just pull just it straight pull down. It, pull it straight through. In chunks. This finger. Yep. About three or four inch strips. Mm -hmm. And it's making that fly swim. You can see the fly coming in. Yep. Every now and then put a little hesitation in there. Okay? Yep. Just like that. Now when you get the fly line to about 10 feet, you're going to take it back, you're going to pinch it in your left hand, come back, straighten out, let it go. Okay. You're, you're ready for like the advanced left hand. <laughs> yeah, already, nice. huh? Perfect. <laughs> there we go. Now you can fish that fly. <laughs> now we need to go find some fish. All right, now it's fish time, huh? You got it. And I right. think I have an idea where we might be able to get a few. All right, let's give it a shot. Good job. Appreciate one down, one to go. All right. We found a spot out of the wind near again. Brewers Marina in East Greenwich. Not bad. Not bad. What do you think? Not Looking bad. like a natural now. <laughs> gets a little easier the more and more you do it. The more you do it, the better it gets. I was ready. Time for a little competition. That's the lucky one right there, baby. Chartreuse. And if I hook you, I apologize in advance. Wouldn't be the first time. How many times have you been hooked in your life? By Every a... season I get hooked two or three times. You're doing good, Don. You're making me proud. Yeah, all right. If I catch a fish, I'll make you prouder. Here's one, Don. It's not a big striper, but, you know, I always tell people it's a strike. You know, it's when they it's hit. It, yeah. There's one right there. This is a good one. Any one that you get is good. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess right now, Don, it's this one. That's the best fish to catch right there. <laughs> um, I like striped bass fishing. I mean, if you think about, you know, the fate of the stripers and where they've come in the last 20 years from almost being completely depleted, um, you never catch enough striped bass. Just a little baby bass, but these little baby bass are the ones that are going to make they grow up to be the big ones. Come on, Don, it's your turn. I know, I'm trying. Must be the equipment. Here's what we're going to do. I'm gonna okay. Let, ooh, I'm going to let you cast this rod. Okay. That's a better one. A little bit, yeah. yeah. This is the magic rod. There you go. No. That's it. <laughs> no, I'm going to use the one that you just had. And just oh, see if man, it was... don't catch one on that. I'll feel rotten. Now, you're going to say what everybody else says. You've already hooked all the fish. That's a good one. You've hooked all the fish. Now they're not, their lips are sore. They're not going to hit anymore. That would be terrible, Don, if I hooked another fish. Don't hook any people in the no boat. No people? No, we don't want... Good, I haven't caught a fish, so I figured I'd try to catch a person. So, <laughs> still looking to lose my virginity over here. What happens is, you know, you become... And I've been there. I've been on the end of the rod. You know, you'd be fishing with somebody... And they're catching all the fish, you know, and yeah. you keep saying, gee, what the hell am I doing wrong? And you're not. And then the guy catches another fish, and now you're getting really out psyched. All right, you got to call this one on the camera. you got to tell me when up. I do things on request, so anytime that you want me to catch a fish, just give me a nod of the camera. <laughs> okay. All right. You asked yeah. for it. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> you really want me to catch a fish. <laughs> Talk about on cue. That was my cue to catch a fish, not your cue. Ah, <laughs> uh, Don. I don't so know. It's, so it's not the equipment. You know what it is? I'm catching all the little ones. Get them out of your way. Thank you. Clear the, and clear that the way. way. With the one that you get will be the one that's 30 plus inches. Oh, there, there you go. go. 
<laughs> hey, Better not late bad. than never, huh? You got it. Strip of the rod, tip of the rod up and oh, strip the line. Okay. That's it. That's it. Nice and oh. easy. He's up. Good. This is going to be the big one. I see you let you get the little ones. I told you, I get all the small ones out of the there way. There you go. Look at oh, that. That's the smallest one yet. <laughs> well, you know. Hey, you got to start somewhere, right? First fly rod striper. What, I mean, what do you want? Exactly. You can't, you can't get the 30-pounder. I wanted to build up a little drama first. <laughs> now, you just bring that straight up, and I'll get that fish right in. Wow, Don. Look at that monster, huh? Got to take what you can get. <laughs> see that? Ah. First striper on a fly. Yes, I had a taste, and I was ready for another. What we want you to do on this next cast. How about this one? Oh, that one. See? <laughs> you are. Got it down now. For the next now cast. Let it run if he wants to run. Okay. And then if when, when he stops running, just strip this line right okay. through your finger. Tip of the... You got... Oh, man, I tell you. It doesn't get <laughs> Easy much. game. Easy game. Whoop. Yeah, you, whoa, let there him, you go. That's it. Let him run. Right. You just let the line slide through your finger. Okay. So that's something that you learn as you go, how much pressure you can put on a put, fish. Okay. But you're doing fine. That's a little better one than the last yeah, one. Yeah, this might be that's This might be the one. fish of the day. I haven't seen him yet, Don, so. He's still got a little bit of fight in him. Yeah. Oh, that's a better fish. Yeah, that fish feels definitely better. That's color. It, did, it, looked, it looked a little bit better. Oh, that's a nice that's fish. A, oh, yeah, that's, that's a, a good a, one. That's a good one. I knew there had to be one in here. Thanks for clearing the little ones out of the way I told you, hey, let me I had you a plan. A, I had a plan. Tip of the rod straight up. Uh, That's okay. It. I won't kiss that one. His lips are too big. Ah. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. Good job. Nice job, Don. All right, thank you. Nice fish. I'm impressed with the job you did. You did a thank good you. job. You Appreciate picked it up real quick. You caught some fish. Makes me happy. Me too. If you'd like more information on saltwater fly fishing, you can contact Bob at flyfishri.com.